Now one of the best singers in modern folk rock or any style, Brandy Carlisle. All of these lines across my face Tell you the story of who I am So many stories where I've been And now I got to where I am But these stories don't mean anything When you've got no to tell them to it's true I was made for you I climbed across the mountain tops so In making Give Up the Ghost a whole bunch of really huge milestones and, uh, and life-changing events happened. And um, I would say among them that the, the biggest one was getting to record a song with Elton John. He turned me on to a whole bunch of new um, artists I wasn't aware of, um, Teddy Thompson and, uh, and this band that everyone else in the world seems to know about except for me, the Kings of Leon. And I have to say that that um, Elton also in, uh, influenced me to play a lot of my own piano on this record, even though I'm not the greatest. And uh, I'd love to play this song for you now from Give Up the Ghost. It's called uh, Before It Breaks. Color of my coat, Lord, help me 
What a blast. It's been a dream come true to play this show. Thank you guys so much. Call the kind of thing that takes its toll over years of overtime, over smiles and over wine. All in all, it wasn't bad, all in all, it wasn't good, but I still care. That's the problem with the days, but never long enough to say. What it is you never said, all the books you never read, throw myself into the wind, hoping somebody might pick me up and carry me again. Where are you now? Do you Sacred, nothing new. No one tells you when it's time. There are no warnings, only signs. Then you know that you're alone. Not a child anymore. The shore is still.
see you put your hands together. We're gonna play a song by the late great Johnny Cash. <laughs>
To view full ACL episodes, go to video.pbs.org. I would say that five years ago, I was uh, a little less road weary and a little less wise. My vocal cords probably looked a little different <laughs> than they do now. But um, the milestones of the achievements, the heroes that I've met along the way, and just the people, the community that we've formed around music has, has been, you know, to me, has been worth a hundred years. And five years feels like a blink of an eye when you look at it that way. I don't remember a huge, like, revelation moment, you know. There was, uh, I was so young, I was eight years old when I first started to sing on stage in front of people. And the truth is, it never occurred to me that I should ever do anything else with my life. I just really, at that point, didn't realize that you had to, you know, finish school and get a job. And, 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 uh, and so I never did either of those. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm proud of my path, however rocky it's been. Um, but I will say that I did feel um, a kind of one of those revelation moments when I met the twins. I was sure that I wanted to play with them. And uh, I gave Tim my acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. We bought some microphones and we pretty much shacked up and we've been playing music together ever since. That was like 10 years ago.